enforcing social distancing from the air, a Connecticut police department is testing out a plan to use drones to fight the virus. And those drones, they make sure people are staying safely apart. Sevens, Emily Pritchard, live in Boston with more on how this exactly works. That drone technology is being tested out in Connecticut, and it can tell you if you are not social distancing and also let police know if they need to respond. Please help the town of Westport keep its residents safe and please disperse immediately. This alert from a drone can be heard in Westport, Connecticut. If you're not staying six feet apart, the chief of police there says they are participating in a flattening the curve pilot program using pandemic drones to monitor residents. If it takes somebody seeing a drone fly over them and say, you know what? We shouldn't be doing this, and that's the motivation they're looking for. We're way ahead of it at that point. The pandemic drone technology comes from Dragonfly, a Canadian-based company. It can detect uh, fever by understanding the temperature, the heart rate, the respiratory rate, the O2 saturation of the blood. Uh, and it can also detect sneezing, coughing. It can also detect uh, social distancing. This video shows green if you are far enough apart, red if you need to back up. In Westport, if people aren't staying in the green after that alert goes off, the chief says they'll respond. If they choose to not obey that, it will be followed by an officer responding. The company feels the data in real time could be useful in helping to make decisions about when it is safe to reopen as we are face to face with the coronavirus pandemic. To help us understand where we're at in that curve and if there's a resurgence of that curve and if we need to uh, invoke policy that is more social distancing, less social distancing, can we reopen our economy? Uh, are there areas that are safe to be but areas that aren't safe to be? And how do we actually measure those types of things? And when talking about privacy, the company says its technology does not identify people, but instead identifies patterns in data. Reporting live in Boston tonight, Emily Pritchard, 7 News. Boy, they are full of fucking shit, man, aren't they? They are full of shit. Really? Unfucking believable. Using drugs. Fucking man, I can't believe this government. What a bunch of rat fucks, man.